highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponent in danger from the very start of the grappling exchange. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. and that's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Storey. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxed safe. Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Right hand punch to the clinch. Oh, big ankle. Usman gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Ooh. Lands again. Oh, big left hook there. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Leon Edwards. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. A lot of power on display from Kamar Usman as he lands yet again there. Kamar Usman showed in the Colby Covington fight. Not only is he the best ball to win, he may just be the toughest ball to win the world. Oh, beautiful job with the anchor pick to get him down. We'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Edwards gets caught. It's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot. Whoa! He Whoa! Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Nice hammer fist. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Ooh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arm. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded upon into the mat or if you're going to give your back up where he will then start to chase chokes. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. Huge knee lands to the Oh, now he's got the tie plumb, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to a side and then try to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai plan. Usman gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that. Like that the, oh, the, the adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything for training, and it stays this close, you gotta really switch it up. Which corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh! Kick. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Pressure being applied here. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Edwards' his lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Gets right back up. I mean, what an angle. have landed for Kamaru Usman. And landing with 46% accuracy tonight against Leon Edwards. A lot of 
Top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. How about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that. Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt. Go get him. He did a great job securing that ankle pick, but he did not react fast enough. Oh! Huge right hand! Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice punch lands. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Look at those weapons. Look at oh! that. Kamaru Usman! Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 52 seconds of round number four. Declare the winner by knockout, Kamaru, the Nigerian nightmare, Ushba! Action in that last round. Daniel, take us.